CNN is being accused of attempting to intimidate the Paul Manafort jury after the far-left cable channel, and six other anti-Trump outlets, requested the jurors' names and home addresses. Manafort, who worked for a short time as President Trump's campaign chairman during the 2016 presidential election, has been charged by special counsel Robert Mueller with various financial crimes, none of which have anything to do with Trump or the campaign. Manafort's fate now sits with a jury, and after two days of deliberations, anti-Trump media outlets like CNN are becoming concerned Manafort could be acquitted, which would be a major blow to Mueller's credibility and his ability to remove Trump from office, an outcome the establishment media are desperate to orchestrate. And so, on Thursday, CNN, along with six other far-left media outlets, The Washington Post, BuzzFeed, Politico, The New York Times, NBC, and The AP, sued for the release of the names and home addresses of all of the Manafort jurors, a move that is both disturbing and almost unprecedented. As Bree Payton at The Federalist points out, publicly outing the names and home addresses of jurors is considered ethically questionable, as outlined in this guidance sheet on the topic from the Reporters' Committee for Freedom of the Press. To begin with, it is seen as unseemly to thrust jurors into the spotlight against their will when they are not volunteering for publicity, they are chosen. What many see here, and not without precedent, is yet another attempt by the media, most especially CNN, to bully and intimidate private, everyday citizens into convicting Manafort. CNN's intimidation tactics have been well established over the years. After President Trump tweeted out a short video, or GIF, mocking CNN last July, the last place cable channel launched a jihad against the GIF's creator with the public threat to dox, expose this person's personal information to online mobs, if he is ever again caught criticizing the network. In February, CNN sent one of its reporters and a TV crew to dox and humiliate an elderly Trump supporter who might have unwittingly promoted a post-election event coordinated by the Russians. It worked. Afterwards, she was abused and threatened online. In 2013, CNN led the mob in a campaign to destroy the career of a local rodeo clown who performed while wearing an Obama mask. During the previous administration, this same rodeo clown had performed in a George W. Bush mask. That's not to say these same media outlets won't take it on themselves to out the jurors, particularly if there is a not guilty verdict, but the judge wasn't going to make it easy for them.